it's Avery here and today we're going to be doing the mid-year book freak out tag. I for one am freaking out. I have only read 15 books this year so I'm kind of a little just uh, not quite where I was last year. Um, My goal for this year was to read 50 books but by the looks of it I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'll be lucky if I hit 40 which is bad comparing to last year where I got 65 books read, so yeah. <laughs> um, let's go on with the tag so I can embarrass myself further. <laughs> um, the first question of this book tag is, the best book you've read so far in 2017? Um, so far my favorite book I've read this year is Walk the Edge by Katie Mae Gary, and I really really love this book. It's the second book in the Thunder Road series, which is um, uh, Katie's other series. She has the Pushing the Limits and the Thunder Road series, and this is the second book in the Pushing the uh, in the Thunder Road series. And I absolutely love the story in this one. I love the just every aspect of the story, and it was just amazing. I loved it. Question number two. Best sequel you've read in 2017. The best, best sequel I've read in 2017 is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Yes, I read this book in 2017, though it came out in 2016 when everyone else read it, but <laughs> I absolutely loved this book. It took me a while to read, but I loved it, and it was definitely one of the best sequels I've read this year. Question number three. A new release that you have yet to read. Um... A new release that I was very excited for but have yet to read is The Traitor's Kiss by Aaron Beatty. This book is supposed to be really good with um, royal courts and traitors and intrigue and romance and just everything that comes with a good fantasy adventure. And I'm really, really hoping to read this this year but I have not had the chance to read it yet. So hopefully I will get this read. Question number four. Question number four. A book you were excited for that comes out in later part of 2017. Um, I'm excited for two books that come out, the third book in the Gemina series, which is Obsidio, I'm pretty sure, and then the third book in the City Love series by uh, Suzanne Calzanti, it is Forever in Love, and I am super excited for those endings of the series or continuations. I Forever in Love is the ending, but I'm not sure about Obsidio. Obsidio. I'm pretty sure it's the ending, but I'm not sure. Question number five, the biggest disappointment of 2017. Um, Catalyst by Kristen Smith is probably the biggest disappointment I've read this year. It's supposed to be a really good fantasy story, um, and it was just, it was a dystopian novel, and I expected it to be good. It was not. It was very disappointing, and I am very disappointed with this book. I only read half of it, I DNF'd it, but it's, I'm still disappointed. Number six, The Biggest Surprise. The biggest surprise book for me this year so far is The Seller by Natasha Semero. No, Natasha... I can't remember, but it's by Natasha, and it was very surprising for me because I normally don't read horror or like suspense books like that, but I absolutely loved The Seller. Um, it was very, very creepy, and it kept me on my toes every minute, but I absolutely loved reading it. So far, my favorite author for this year is Katie McGarry. I absolutely love her stuff. I've read, I'm pretty sure I've read four of her books this year, and I'm, I just ordered more, so definitely going to be reading more Katie McGarry books. Question number eight, biggest fictional crush? And this book, and my fictional crush has to be from The Walk the Edge by Katie McGarry. Razor in this book is just so awesome and lovey and I love mm, he's just so good cuz mm, I just like him I just really like him he's really hot he's really hot and he's really protective and I love it question number nine newest favorite fictional character and this one I have to go with Nesta from Aqua War I don't have Aqua War with me and my someone in my family is reading it but um Nesta has become my absolute favorite she's such a uh, she's such a strong female character and I love that about her. She's so strong and nothing's gonna get in her way and I absolutely love that. Question number 10. The book that made you cry. For this one I have to go with Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. I cried several points in this book and it was just, it hit home for me 
and very much a lot of parts and <laughs> this book is so soft it has like all my love in it and I just I absolutely loved reading this. I cried multiple spots just because of how much the main character related to some of the things I was feeling and just some um, things that were happening in the book just made me cry really hard for this character. Question number 11. Book that made me happy. A book that made me happy is Aka War. I love just being back with the gang and being able to hang out and have fun and just the whole time I was reading the book, I was just very happy with the Resand and Feyre series, uh, see, uh, Resand and Feyre scenes, and just a bunch of other things just made me super happy if that took place in the book. That was one of the books that made me really happy. Question number 12. Favorite book to film adaptation that you've seen this year? Okay, my favorite adaptation has to be um, 13 Reasons Why. I haven't read the book, but I read the, like the first chapter of the book, and I loved just the TV series altogether. Um, though it may was really graphic for some people, I loved it. I loved watching it. It was just very deep and thought provoking. I have seen other adaptations. I've seen Before I Fall, and I've seen Everything Everything. And I absolutely loved Everything Everything. It just wasn't my favorite adaptation, I have to say. Um, but those are some really good ones. Question number 13. Favorite review that you have posted or written? For this one, I have to go with my reviews for Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. I loved my reviews. I loved making and writing and posting on Twitter and all the stuff for this book. It was so fun, and I just, I love this book so much, so I had to share my joy for it. Question number 14. The most beautiful book that you have bought or purchased this year? Off the top of my head, I absolutely love the cover for The Trailer's Kiss by Erin Beatty. I just love the whole aspect of it with the roses and the knife and the dagger and the one gold rose. Another thing I love about this book is the spine with the gold roses and just how beautiful the spine is. And I just love the cover of this book. It is so beautiful and just looks very aesthetic. And the last question, question number 15. A book you wish to read by the end of this year. For this one, I'm going to have to go with the rest of the Katie McGarry books before her new one comes out in January. She has um, two more, I think, that I haven't read yet. It's like Crash Into You and another book. And I just, I would love to have those read because I love her books and I read them in like two days. Um, another book, I have a huge TBR for this summer, so hopefully I can get those read. I know I probably won't, but just in case I really wish I could read some of those. So I have a TBR video coming up soon that you guys could look forward to, so look forward to that coming soon. I absolutely love reading and I just, I read so many books this month that it makes me super happy because it's only like June 20th, 20th or something, so I have a lot of time left in my summer to read. I'm just so cram packed with stuff, so I'm hoping to read more this summer and into the fall I hope to read a lot more. That is all the questions for the mid for the mid-year book freakout tag um it just makes me realize I need to read a lot more because I haven't read that much in the spring season um I'm not going to tag anyone but if you would like to do this um book tag you are welcome to do it I tag all of you who wish to do it Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Look forward to more videos soon. I'm sorry I haven't been posting much lately, but look forward to more videos soon. I'll see you guys next time with a new video. Bye, lovelies!